my job and you know if I perform I'll you know, probably get more chances and yeah I mean for now I'm just going to go out there and stay within myself and do what I can and just help the team win. What was going through your head for a strikeout here at Dallas? Um, I mean kind of I was just like I said I was just going out there and wasn't really thinking much about getting my first strikeout or anything I was just going out there and you know thinking about pounding the strike zone and getting outs and next thing I knew it you know, he struck out, and there you go. If, if, if you could say, what was the, the injury that was uh, keep, keeping you out? I ended up tearing my UCL in my thumb. Just kind of an accident. Bent the other way and um, sidelined for like two months. So. so that was after you had already gotten here? Yeah, it was uh, back in January. Okay. Was that in, in baseball activities or just like at the house or something? Yeah, just baseball. Just, yeah, pretty practice. Yep. Blue thing. Yep. You were touching 97 there for a bit. Was, have you gotten to that before in bullpen, growing? Is, is that a little bit different for you coming back from surgery on the UCLA? Yeah, that's the that's the hardest I've thrown. I was up to like 95 in the fall, but I wasn't really thinking about velo or anything. Yeah. I just was just yeah. throwing and you know trying to throw strikes and just ended up ended up hitting it. What do you throw? What is your pitch? Uh, I throw a fastball slider changeup. Okay. Yep. All and you throw them all like for I mean you are not tinkering with anything like you they're in your everyday mix. Yeah, they're there. Yeah. What well, what was sort of when you got here in the discussion with you know, Rich and Mitch, you know, what was what was the plan for you coming in? What was the, your expectations when you first got here? Well, I mean like there was no set plan, you know, everyone gets here and you know, it doesn't matter who you were in high school or you know how good you are, you kinda get a, a fresh slate and you have to go out and prove yourself, you know? So uh, I didn't really, I guess no one really laid out any expectations for me. It was just go out and, you know, compete. What was those first, you know, couple months of the season and you know, having to kind of sit there? What, what was going through your mind? Is, you know, I imagine you just, you just wanted to get out there. When I, when I was just sitting there? Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, it's tough. You know, it's, it's. Uh, I mean, like seeing everyone go out and play, you know, and it, I just want to be out there. It's, it's hard, but I mean, I couldn't thank the trainers enough for you know getting me back quick, and all the team, all my teammates have been, you know, super supportive, which has helped a lot. So, what, what was the conversation like when you know, whoever was Mitch trainer was like, all right, it's time for you to get out there, so you're ready to go. What was that conversation like, and what was your feeling? Was it like a weight lifted off your shoulders when you had that conversation? Yeah. So, I've known, I knew for about a week that I was going to be pitching that Tuesday game versus Gonzaga. So I was kind of mentally preparing before that. And then I talked to Dorman before the game and he just kind of laid it out. He was like, all right, he's, he's like, Nelson's going to go out, have a quick first inning. And then he says, we're just going to put you in for the second. He says, uh, you know, just go out for one inning because I'm trying to kind of just ease back into it, like first outing back, mm -hmm. uh, just keep it short, you know, so. When did you resume? You had surgery, I, I, I did. Yeah. Yeah. When did you resume throwing? First or first, you know. It was about, so I was out, no throw for like four weeks. And then after that, I had about a five week just build up program. So I started off like just, you know, lightly playing catch. And then I think about three or four weeks ago, I started throwing my first bullpens and then kind of started working my way back up to 100% after that. Yeah. I assume you were a starter in high school? Yeah, I was. Yeah. Yeah. Did you mentally enter fall ball or whatever, like, I'm going to try to be a starter? Uh, like, like, was that your personal goal? Did you try to build up for that? Or were you just like, they can put me wherever they want, I don't care. Like, what was your own, I guess, individual sort of? I mean, yeah, like, you know, I want to go out and compete for a spot, you know, and like, you know, the starter's kind of the, the job that every pitcher wants. But at the end of the day, I just want to go out and do whatever I can to, you know, help the team win, you know, especially being a freshman. I know there's other guys that have been, you know, kind of, uh, you know, they're big names in the program and stuff. Uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to go out there and, do whatever I can to, to help the team. What's it been like watching Eric in a similar position as you? So, yeah. I mean, pitch so well, kind of uh, representing freshman, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, no, it's really cool seeing Eric go out there. He's, he had a really good fall, mm -hmm. and, I mean, he just goes out, and, you know, he's never scared, mm -hmm. never anything. I mean, he, he doesn't back down. He just goes out, and he throws a lot of strikes, and he gets out, you know, and that's, that's all you need. What was the most frustrating part about sitting out finding out you were hurt and sitting out those couple of months? I mean, it was it was tough coming off like a pretty decent fall, you know, kind of had 
I was pretty ready to go. You know, like season was starting. I think like I got hurt like a month before the season. So I was like kind of mentally getting ready for the, you know, to go out there and, and go play. So it was, it was definitely just tough. Just like there was a lot of anticipation that kind of got torn down for a little bit. But And was that just you throwing? Like that's how you injured it, or yeah, it was just yeah, just a random, yeah, just a random thing. What um, there seemed to be a lot of energy from the from the guys in the dugout when you got out there. Um, what has been their support and sort of watching you, and especially on on Tuesday, they seemed to be really fired up for you. Yeah, I mean, like I said, like all the guys have been really supportive. So I think I mean just a lot of good guys on this team, and you know we're, they're always joking around with me in the clubhouse and whatever, and. You know, guys are saying they're excited to see me back out there, and I think, you know, they they probably like to see me just, you know, get my first college experience. You know, it's kind of cool. So, I think they're all excited for me. And then Kyle kind of made his return the same day. Were you guys on a similar trajectory? Were you guys working together behind the scenes? A little bit. I think. I mean, he got he was ready to go at the beginning of the season. Then he got you know something tweaked in his arm. Yeah. Uh, his, his first game. Yeah. Um. So a little bit of a different boat, but. But yeah, I mean, it was good to see him come back and go out there and you know chuck the ball too. Yeah. This, the, um, no, but this pitching staff is starting to get you know really healthy now. You and Kyle, and obviously Aiden returned you know what two weeks ago. Just what do you think this pitching staff is now in the trajectory that you as a staff is on right now? Yeah, I mean, I think we're only getting better from here. I think like we're all starting to figure it out. You know, guys are kind of starting to fall into their roles. Um, Obviously, like you know, guys, just still a little competition for for spots and whatever. But I think we're all getting dialed in, and you know, just starting to like really hit our stride now. Has Dor said anything about your role moving forward, like midweek starter or bullpen guy in the weekend? He hasn't said anything. Nothing like that. I mean, just gonna go out there and you know compete. Yeah. I almost kind of view you as like a uh, an MLB like trade guy. You enter a. a Pennant race at the end, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> stacking the bullpen there. I mean, how are you approaching things these last couple of months? Just imagine you're happy to be back. But. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just yeah. I mean, I'm super happy to be back. Like, just you know, like I said, there's a lot of anticipation for me, especially like, coming into this game. So, it feels really good to get that first outing out of the way, and you know, now I feel ready to roll. Thanks, Lee. All right, hey, appreciate thanks. you. Thank Sweet. you.